you've been in the papers recently, well, at least on the internet, with links to potential jobs in UK managerial. Would you want to get involved in a managerial job with something like VAR in place now, dominating the headlines? Does, do you see that as a hindrance to the, a manager or a positive? Uh, there's positive. There's pros and cons to it. Uh, goal line technology is black and white. It's a yes, it's a no. Uh, VAR is still open to scrutiny, but when what we need to clarify, the, sh the shoulder issue for offside, I don't, don't like that. The, if it's the foot or there's something clear cut, I understand, yeah, and the right decisions. Given that was an offside, you've got to be able to handle it and, and accept that. But what, what has happened, there is too many laws in the game for myself as an ex-player, even when I was a, was a player, and now as coach and managers that we don't actually understand because there are so many different... Do they call it letters of the law? Yeah. Yeah. Interpretation. Interpretation. Yeah. And there's, there's too many. That is the confusing side of it. So when the players and some of the coaches and people don't understand what the referees, that's where there's got to be a lot more education given and understand. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually like what I think I've just discussed with you guys, that the A-League in Australia have just tried where they've actually got a referee to come and explain his decisions during the game. And you want, that to, you want to see more of that perhaps across the globe? I, I would like to see that, yeah, because I think it, it, it makes them become human. Um, the fans get to see them in a different light. You know, we're, we're all human, we all make mistakes as well. And some, they've got to explain some of the VR decisions as well so the fans and the players can go, and, all right, okay, fair enough, we understand why you did that. On the pitch for all three of you, did you go up to the referee and ask for decisions? We often see players remonstrating with a referee. Mm. What are they actually saying back to the players? I don't really well, know. Well, I, I think it depends what you've said to them to start well, with. Well, if you're to trying to look for, you, but, for an explanation. Or how you've said it. <laughs> Um, but but the, the truth of the matter is, I, I played under a couple of different coaches who had totally opposite opinions on this. So David Pleat at Spurs didn't want any of us as players to remonstrate with the officials, to argue with them, to try to influence them. Terry Venables at Spurs wanted us to get into the officials and make their life difficult, try to sway them and, and get them to favour us, because if they didn't, you know, we're going to give them a lot of stick. Um, who was right, who was wrong? Um, I, I never did the stats to see, you know, whether we did better by being quiet and behaving, as it were, or doing what Terry Venables wanted us to do. Um, I, I think the, the officials have a tough enough job yeah. as it is. And, you know, we've just watched the Liverpool game and, you know, there's numerous occasions where a player goes down. He hasn't been fouled. He's actually just posing a question to the official as to whether he truly saw that incident right or not. And he just might get a free kick. Yeah. You know, I think it's the impossible job for the officials. They need help. VAR is supposed to give them help. And unfortunately, at the moment, it is causing more adverse publicity than it is giving the officials help. It's a football cultural issue around the world with refereeing and players remonstrating. I watched the Rugby World Cup. The respect between the players mm. and the referees is unbelievable. You, you yeah. accept their decision. Football has a culture where you don't. And we, at the club that I'm coaching in Australia, they, we've had a massive turnaround this, this last two years. We put a lot of money back into the youngsters that are in our grassroots academy and told them that they all had to go and do refereeing courses. Um, courses. Yeah. And every t when they get their badge, what they do, then we send them a referee, the younger grades at their team, on a, on a Saturday and Sunday. They get, they get paid some money to do it as well, because yeah. it, it's, a, it's a class as a job. And they now understand that when the kids are saying stuff to them, when they are now playing, they've got a lot more respect for the, yeah. for the referees. Works. It's yeah. a great so initiative. It's, it's an it educational is, yeah, thing yeah. that needs yeah. to develop. Because you learn what the referees are actually yeah, up against. Correct. But I, I, I've, got to, I've got to be a bit awkward and ask the question. What, what, would, what would you do as a manager? How would you instruct your players to go about their business with the referee? Um, I, I, I would tend to favour the, uh, the David Pleat approach, personally. Um, having said that, I do expect my players to appeal for things. Yeah, yeah. But once the referee has made his decision, I don't want my players going up to him. I don't want my players encroaching upon his personal space. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's appropriate. Did referees ever explain the decisions to you? Uh, okay. During the course uh, of a game? Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally. I think if there's a player down injured and there's a, there's a break in the play a couple of yeah. minutes, you know, you'll see a lot of players sort of gravitate towards the referee and yeah. say, that one over there earlier on. And, and actually, you see the a human side of the referee yeah. where they will say, yeah, to be fair. And this has happened to me that Dave might have got that one wrong. 
Okay. They and, say that. Yeah. yeah. And this is why I asked the question because not all of them though. No, the not one, all of them. The not do, all of them. Some of them are just are absolutely. Yes. And some, but a lot of them are just no. Go away. Go away. Go away. And I always found that quite arrogant. Yes. Yeah. Um, that I rate you. And more. it really annoys you as a player. Yeah. Clattenburg was very good. Yeah. Clattenburg was. He? Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He would really talk you on the park, yeah. and he'd yeah. actually give you a bit of back before the microphones came in, so they could hear and analyse everything. Yeah. Sometimes they'd give you a bit of stick he back. Did. He was very good like that. I remember yeah. saying to him for one decision, I said, "Are you kidding? You did not. How didn't you give us that foul?" He said, mate, that's the last thing you need to worry about. The chance you missed 10 minutes ago is <laughs> yeah. even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're, you're having a good game yourself, yeah. eh? <laughs> that would nullify because you'd actually turn away and go, right, fair play. That, that's, that, that's good, Jess. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever have Mike Dean? Must have. Ooh, must yeah, Because yeah, obviously yeah, he yeah, tends to grab the headlines a lot more than most referees yeah. out there. Yeah, I think that Howard Webb as well, because you, you know, you'd, you'd get a decision and I'd, you'd run up towards Howard Webb and he'd sort of fill the frame as you as you were running up to him. Think, I might just give this yeah. one a swerve. <laughs> big guy. He was a big lad. Yeah, they, yeah. They, and a policeman as well. They, yeah. they never had any bias, right? There was always accusations like, this person is biased to this team. Do you ever feel it as a player? Do you ever think you are biased? Uh, see, I got in trouble for using that word. Did you? Uh, yeah, with, I got fined. For, I had to go to an FA disciplinary here because I used that word bias, and they and they, they are they really hate you using that word. Yeah. And I and I, and I I'd yeah. probably said it in the wrong context. Um, but I've, there's certainly been games, and this is why I asked the question because mm. they are human beings, and human beings can be can be influenced. Of course, so, you know you've got. Well, managers do it. People. Managers do it all the time, <laughs> yeah. don't they? With their comments, or they try yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I, f for me, I, I'd be half and half. I, I would want my, I wouldn't want them running up to the referee, but I would want them in his ear for most of the game. Okay, confession time. Who's the biggest teacher's pet to a referee that you came across, either as a teammate or as an opponent, maybe even yourself? Who was always nice to to, to the referee? Like, how are the kids? Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. The coffee good here. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not sure, but I think it, it is the role of your captain to, uh, the captain used to say to me, always, because the captains have to go and see the referee before the game. And, was, and it's a bit like a boxing referee, you know, we want a clean fight and all that. So you just say, look, if you tell your players, if there's any of this, I'm not standing for it. If there's any of that, that's okay. But, and then they'll come back to the changing room and tell the players what they've, that, that yeah. conversation. But, and they would always, always say, lads, every captain I had, just make sure you call him by his first name. I that's, just, that's, yeah, no, I was just about make sure you're his first, first name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure because it's shown a bit of respect. Remember their names as well. That was a, yeah, that was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You were talking about teacher's pet. I'm not going to say I was the teacher's pet, but I always tried to be as nice as I could to the referees just in case something did happen in the game and he thought, oh, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah. Free kick. Peter Crouch called out John Terry. I think he said he was the biggest suck up to, to the referees. I think the big. The, I, I am going to say I think the big players got away with. I saw Wayne Rooney get away with some things on a football pitch that no one else would have got away with, you know. And 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 I, and I see Sila doing the same now for Liverpool. Yeah. And Mane threw himself to the ground yeah. numerous times today. No booking. I think there's some players that are very easy to book, and I think there's some players that are very easy just because to sort of nice. ignore it. Yeah. Because Correct. they don't want the headlines. Yeah, so that's on the player side of it. I also think there are some venues that you go to where actually, as a visiting club, you seem to get very little. Yeah, and, in, and in my yeah, day, yeah. it was Anfield. You know, Liverpool were the dominant side, and some people say, well, actually, you know, the best teams always appear to get favoured because, you know, they, they play the best football and ultimately they beat you. But without doubt, in my day, you got very little from the referees at Anfield yeah. and you certainly felt that the referees, any 50-50 any decision, Always, it went yeah, to yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's not sour grapes, that's how it was. Yeah. But I never ever felt that that was the case when I was playing at the Goldstone ground, as it was then for Brighton Football Club, or at White Hart Lane for Tottenham. I never felt we got that level of... Not favouritism, that's not the right word. But that level of benefit. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 so, and then when I played, it was obviously United with Ferguson. Yeah, and, and you'd go to Old Trafford, and like I've just said about Rooney, no referee wants to pick the paper up on the Monday morning and see that Sir Alex Ferguson has just had a go at you for sending off Wayne Rooney. Because the <laughs> scrutiny for sending off Dave Kitson is not like the scrutiny that, that, that you'll come Rooney. under for sending off Wayne Rooney. And uh, it's like I say, it's human nature. These guys, every now and again, will you know, take the easy way out.
Where, where did you get sent off? What ground was that? That was oh, Old Trafford. Trafford. Yeah. 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 That was <laughs> yeah. A Premier League record for a sub getting sent off. All right, we've done this already. <laughs> we <laughs> actually done shall again. <laughs> Why not? We like reminiscing of good one, times. One one. <laughs> one, one. Fair play, he's waited a long time. He has.